What's going on, people? Welcome back to We Are Tottenham TV. It's finished at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Tottenham for Sheffield United nil. I'm joined by Marlon. Marlon, how are you doing firstly? And obviously, what did you make of the game? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, the game was okay. It was. It took some time to start. Uh, you know, the play was a bit quicker and a bit sharper than the last couple of weeks have been. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, Bow, you know, you, you weren't in the game as much, but actually, you know, when he gets in the final ball, he can finish and that's what he's good at. And that's what he's done today. Yeah. And you got to give Ori a credit. Um, he's seen something that we've probably been missing all season, a bit of creativity in that midfield. And he just went in there and that's how we got the first goal. He just opened them up really. Yeah, no, um, I'm curious. So we were speaking about this uh, at, at half time in the half time yeah. show about, you know, Bale, quite quite literally what you just said, Bale, you know, he can be poor for, for the majority of the game or not yeah. involved. And then he's got that quality, that magic that he can produce something out of nothing. Um, if it was up to you this summer, would you would you keep him for a second season? It's always going to be dependent on who we get in. Um, it's going to be where's the money going to sit, you know, um, how much are we going to have to pay him? And is his heart in it? Because like he said, he wants to get fit for Wales. And then what's it going to be next year? Is it, if he's, if he wants to come back for Spurs and he wants to play, why not? But at the same time, it's all going to be dependent on who we bring in the summer. Because if we haven't got the players to play with him, um, ain't going to happen. And that's, and that's probably the, the way I can say it. It's 50-50. I think if he gets us into the Champions League, you know, realistically it can still happen. But again, it's a case of... <laughs> Can he only play once a week? Because <laughs> that's another yeah. thing as well. You know, if he can only play once a week, what do we do? No, no, yeah, I, I hear that. I, I sort of agree with you. Um, is it worth you know forking out all the all of the wages and and a, a lot of what the budget is going to be for someone that can't you know put in ninety minutes of quality every single week? And um, this this issue, like you look at the cup final and you kind of go, why didn't he play? Considering we weren't much on the ball anyway, but yeah. you can see where the priorities are lying within Spurs. In the inside, it's make Champions League. It, it's you know they don't. If the cup competition was, it was just a hindrance now for them. You could see it last week. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we weren't expected to play well against City, but there was just no effort. And considering the lineup he's gone with today, considering where, what he done with last week, you kind of go in. Ah, uh, you know the Champions League is the main priority at the club right now. No, yeah, exactly. Um, I think it's also the fact that the the money you get from from being in the Champions League is um, is extortionate, especially compared to just winning a League Cup. And I think we we're gonna need if you want to rebuild it. You that's what you if you want to rebuild this team, that's what we need. Um, we need some money in, and we need to we need it to spend money on the players. Um, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? And top look, top four is it still on for you? Do you think we can do it? I think Leicester's running. It's the only thing that's making me slightly... Comp I run in it. You look at it on paper, and especially after today's performance, we should be, you know, getting full maximum points. The only hiccup will be next week against Leeds. But if we can get past that, you know, Villa and Wolves, let's be honest, haven't been playing well all season. Well, for the second part of the season. Um, so two home games against them is fine. And then to set it up against Leicester on the last day, hopefully, you know, if they win the cup final, coming into us, it will be kind of... They might be on the back of that going... Oh, you know, we've won the cup. Do we really want to play the last league game? But you never know. You never, ever know. For, you know, this season's been funny. Um, you know, we've still got Liverpool to think about. And again, that, you know, the rearranged game for Man United now to see where that's going to put, put everything regarding top four. I think Chelsea are just going to be too good for it. Um, they've they've had one hiccup. And depending on how they get on on Wednesday, it depends on how they... But I think top four for them is, the, you know, they ain't going to... I don't think they're going to have any more hiccups and I think they'll end up beating Leicester in the game between the both of them that's been rearranged as well. So it's there, but it's one of them. I do not know right now. I I would probably see... Let, let, after that Leeds game, let's see how it goes and then go from there. Okay. All right. So, what, and also, what did you make of um, Delhi Ali? You know, Delhi came into the team today. What did you make of Delhi today? Do you know what? If the, the, this is probably the perfect game for him to come into against a team that's bottom of the league and he hasn't played for months. I thought he started off really, really slowly, but you could tell it was a bit of rustiness and he needs game time. And as the game wore on, you could see more and more, actually, it was starting to work and he was starting to, you know, make them late runs into the box. Um, and, you know, actually it was his tackling as well because he won the ball back, I believe, for the second goal. Um, and it's, that's the Deli Alley we miss. Um, and hopefully he, you know, if he can 
put more performances like that in today and in these last four games and maybe this may be what we need to just get us over this line and get us into that top four. No, I, I agree. I thought there were parts of Delhi's game that were really good today and then I thought yeah. there were parts that showed that weren't great, was, which could be yeah. down to rust. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, like you said, I think it could be down to a bit of rust. Um, but I thought, um, like you said earlier, I thought Serge Aurier was good. I thought, obviously, two assists. I thought uh, yeah. Regulon was much better today. The fullbacks were much better today than they have been. Uh, they have been, yeah. I think, and even Toby Alvira with his long range passing, like you could see under when Mourinho at the beginning of the season he was trying it, but it was only Sun he was really aiming for. But today he had a bit of range, you know, there was Regulon trying to make runs, there was Sun trying to make runs, and even Bao trying to make runs on the right hand side. So even Toby's looking up straight away and knowing he can make that forward pass and he doesn't have to look for Kane each time. No, yeah, I agree. I know. I was, I thought he was unlucky not to have an assist tonight. Obviously, that that uh, yeah. the song goal being ruled out by the finest of margins. What did you think yeah. of the um, the red card? Well, the non red card, the stamp on Gio's <sighs> head. What would you make of that? <laughs> it's one of them. Um, when I first saw it, I was like, "It's VA, when when I, when I heard VAR were looking at it, and I saw it back again, I thought, yeah, he meant that.' But at the mm-hmm. same time. It's a case of you, you're not no no one can realistically say that they know the player meant it or not. Um, and it looks like you know could he have got out of the way? Pro- probably not looking at it. It probably sh- I'm quite glad they didn't give it. Um, if I'm yeah, being I'm with you. It, 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 it would have just ruined the game. And he he generally for him to straight away say sorry to Son like no not to Lascelles so sorry straight away. I kind of felt like he didn't mean it. But you don't know if that he's playing up to the cameras with VAR around and he's got to react quite quickly. But yeah, it would have just ruined the game if he no, sent him off. Yeah, I, I, I'm with you. I, I don't think he meant it. I, I don't know if he could have got out of the way or not, but I, I, look, you can see in the re- in one of the angles on the replays, he doesn't yeah. purposely, um, I think he doesn't purposely stand on his head. Um, it's yeah. one of those, it's one of those that they just look nasty. Yeah. Um, but I don't think, I don't think that he, he meant that. Um, but uh, I thought, look, we look, at the end of the day, Sheffield United were relegated already. They were bottom of the league. It's sort of, yes. uh, and I think it was a what, just what, um, like the boys uh, in the studio said, look, it was just what the doctor needed, just what the doctor yeah. wanted, rather. Um, now it's about look, two league wins in a row under Mason. Now it's about consistency. Now it's about going to Leeds next week and getting and getting the three points and keeping the pressure on on the teams above us in the hope that they do slip up because obviously they yes. do play each other. Um, yeah. There's the hope that kills you, though, isn't it? Oh, it's always is. It, you're, you're looking at that Leeds game going, you know, we've, we've set up to go there. Leeds, you know, probably coming to the Wolves the end of the season, surviving in the Premier League. How much, you know, how much are they going to put into it, you know, and that's the thing. Um, but yeah, it's a case of now they need, boys just need to play well for these next four games, get them out of the way, three points in each and make the other two sweat. You know, Leicester are probably... You know, Chelsea might slip up. You know, we saw it against West Brom. They possibly could. They've got but, City next yeah. week. They've got yeah, so, so, yeah, and that's the thing. They've all got to play each other. And, you know, Man United, you know, that's the other issue I've got as well because um, I believe Leicester have got United in this run as well. And it's dependent on what Man United now do on Thursday and whether they take it seriously over the next couple of weeks as well. So, mm-hmm. and especially with them playing Liverpool again. Um, so, it's there, you know, We've just got, we have just got to get three points each week. If we don't, we can only have ourselves to blame. Yeah, I think um, it's a, it's an outside chance and it's a, sim, a slim chance yeah. of top four. And it's one of those where if we pull it off, it's remarkable. And let's be real, on this, based, on the second <laughs> yeah. half, based on the second half of the season, it's undeserved. Um, yeah. But look, it's a, but it, it, it's one of those where if it most I think most of us are a bit are, are, are realistic and 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 a realist and, and and have seen it's look it's we're gonna have to accept it's most likely gonna be Europa League football next year. Yeah. Um, but look, it, let's have a we can have a bit of belief. We go, it's not over yet. Five points behind the City go uh, Chelsea go to City next week and they've still got to play Leicester. Um, so look, let's hope we can somehow. Look, remarkable <laughs> yeah remarkable. Get into this top four. Um, Marlon, After thank you yeah, yeah. Exactly. you never know you never, you never know. know Marlon thank you very much for joining me no um, cheers and enjoy the rest of your, of your week and I ho- hopefully we'll speak again uh, ahead of uh, after Leeds after Leeds away next week no problem speak to you later cheers mate <laughs>